Well, hey, it's Pastor Seth, and thanks so much for being with me. I know I haven't uh, made a video in a couple weeks. Just want you to know I'm okay. I had the coronavirus, but I am feeling better and better. I'm back at work. Um, so that's the reason I've been I've been offline. And, you know, I, I was just laying there, like, <laughs> sick. I, I, watched, I watched The Chosen, which if you have not seen The Chosen, it is worth watching. Look it up. You can find it for free. Uh, the version folks have it. The, the Bible app has it. There's a, an app for The Chosen. And it is just good, good, good stuff. But I, I also, you know, I, I read the Bible. I, I had a lot of free time. I was isolating in my house. And I also read the news, you know. And um, today, or yet, uh, Monday, the jury started deliberating in the uh, Derek Chauvin trial. And there's been a ton of, like, talking and a ton of, like, just just all kinds of emotion surrounding this trial and the word justice is just getting thrown around everywhere and you know I know there's a lot of different perspectives about justice but I've just I, I was laying there thinking I, I thought you know what is what is a the bible say about justice and so I just had some thoughts and I wanted to share them with you. This is not the normal thing, but just on justice. And here's, here's one of the first thoughts I had, you know, as we're, we're following this trial and what's going to happen. And, you know, there's a question, is, is it going to be just, is justice going to be done? And different people think that looks like different things. You know, obviously there's so many opinions, but one of the things that the Bible makes very, very clear from the very first verse in Genesis, Genesis 1-1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And that's important as we come to an understanding of anything in the world, because, like justice. Because what we're tempted to do when it comes to justice is we're tempted to make ourselves the standard by which we judge whether or not something is just. How we, we perceive it, how we think about it, how we feel about it. We're tempted to make that the main standard. But Genesis 1-1 comes and you know what it says? It says, the world was not made by you. It is not about you. It, you did not lay it out. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And so if we're going to think about justice from a biblical perspective, we have to th start at the right point. We have to start thinking and and start at the point where we are not the ultimate definers of what is just, but there is something, someone out there, God, the one who created everything, and he is the standard, the beginning, the fount of justice. And friends, we get, we have to get that right, because if we're, we're tempted to go either to the right or to the left or, or, or look and think, well, that's just or that's unjust. If, if all we're doing is basing it on what we feel, what we think, who, who we perceive is on our side, if, if that's kind of, kind of the way we're thinking about justice, we are definitely not going to be on the side of true biblical godly justice. That starts with God, the creator of the universe, the starting point of everything.